Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can send post requests to an API service in Excel using Power Query. So for this demo, we're gonna be calling the Smarty Streets API, and this is just a service that we can call to get address specific data. So if you wanna follow along, you can head over to smartystreets.com, and then you can sign up for the free account, which gives you 250 API calls per month. And then if you head over to products and APIs, I'm gonna be using the US zip code API. And if we scroll down here, there's actually a place where you can try out this API. And so for example, here we can try getting some zip codes for Anchorage, Alaska. And if I look over here, I can actually see the post request that's going to be sent for this. And so here's the URL that we're calling. We also need to pass a header here. And then we need to pass the API this data here if we want to get zip codes for Anchorage, Alaska. So let's take a look at how we can call this API from Excel using Power Query. So let's head over to Excel. And up in the data tab, we're going to create a from web query. And we need to input a URL. So we're gonna grab this URL right here and copy and paste that. And we're also going to go to the advanced options. And this is where we can input our header. So we had a content type header. And let's go back here and just copy and paste this value. And let's press OK. And so in that interface there, we weren't actually able to pass the API this, so there was no input for passing the API any data. And so to do that, what we're actually going to need to do is edit the M code that's created in order to pass this data. So let's head back to Excel and we can open up the advanced editor. So in the home tab, advanced editor. And here's the M code that's been created so far. And we can see that URL right here. And also that header that we added right here. And you can see that what we have here is headers equals, and then we have a Power Query record. So that's in the square braces right there. And what we can actually do is add a second item to this record here. So content equals will allow us to pass data to an API. And I'm just gonna add a comment up here and head back here and grab this bit of text that we need to pass and just paste it in there. So this is what we need to pass to the API in the content. But first we need to actually translate this into something that Power Query will understand. So this is a JSON object and we need to build that with Power Query first. So let's just add some space in to work with first. So I'm just gonna move that down and I'm gonna start this on a new line here. And first let's add this in as a record in Power Query. And how that looks is if we have city equals, and let's add in Anchorage there. and then state equals Alaska. So now this is a record in Power Query. And if we enclose that in some curly braces, this is now a single record inside of a list. And now what we need to do is with this, convert this into this JSON object. 
And to do that, we're going to use the json.fromValues function in Power Query. And so now what we have is this entire thing here is essentially equivalent to this bit of text string right here. So let's hit done and see what happens. And let's click in here. And let's convert this into a table. And actually, let's not do that. Let's go back to the source step and convert that into a table first. And no delimiters, that's fine. And I'm just going to delete these previous steps. And now we can just expand all this out. And here's some lists. Let's expand those to new rows. And then let's expand this column out. And let's expand this to new rows. And expand those records out. And so here's our data that's returned from the API after sending it the city of Anchorage and state of Alaska. So you can see that we've got zip codes here or Alaska. And let's just go back to the advanced editor here quickly and try changing those cities. And there we go. We're now sending the API, the city of New York and the state of New York. And then we're getting zip codes for New York here in Power Query. So that's how you can send post requests to an API service using Power Query in Excel. So it's not possible to do this using the user interface, but we can create post requests by editing the M code. So let's just open up our advanced editor again. And in the web.contents, you can see that what we had to do was add a record here using the content object. And we also had to use the json.fromValues Power Query function to convert a Power Query record or list of records into the JSON that the API service requires. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.